Hi everyone, I was very kindly donated this doll by a friend of ours and I decided to do her up but give her a spooky makeover. So first of all I took off all the jewellery and everything and she was really dusty, she'd been in storage for a very long time um, so she needed cleaning first before I did anything else. So I removed all the jewellery that had been placed on her it was quite interesting to see these sort of older style earrings and things that were used to create a little headband for her. That one's got like a little sleeping cat on. The first one had some flowers on. Um, there was these ones with beads. And um, there was also um, some with larger beads, as you can see here. And a couple of very simple little hoops. I took those off in case I'm going to use them for something else. I, I don't think I'll use um, most of them, but I'll keep them to one side for a bit just in case I come up with an idea. And then this old hair bobble that had been used as a headband, I just threw that away. So there you go. And there were some necklaces wrapped around her as well. There's this little one with an owl pendant on. Uh, one that is a little pendant with some flowers on. With a really old um, fastening on, onto it. I haven't seen jewellery with fasteners on that since I was like a kid in the 70s. And then there's this little chain and another little chain. I've kept them to one side in case I use them for something else. And then it's a case of removing the other stuff. She come with this little headband which was just very lightly stuck to her. Um, I think it was like slightly glued but not by much. So I just removed that from her hair. Um, it just took a little snip just to get where the last little bit where it was stuck on. And then I worked on um, stripping the doll down. Um, I would have saved the dress maybe and used it for something, but the, the dress was in really bad state. Um, it was at the point where if you touched it wrong, it would start to rip and um, it was very dusty. So I did just take the dress apart um, and then discard it. I was going to use it as like a pattern to make a new dress, but then I decided to give her a spooky makeover instead and she had this has this weird um like cone shape for the bottom half of her body um because this is where the musical part is um so as you can see the base fit on like that i did unfortunately break it taking it off but i do fix it later on and inside the base was the little musical mechanism and this plays a little tune and it was malfunctioning at first. So I took it out and had a little look, just gave it a bit of a dusting and it worked, seems to work perfectly fine. Cause what this doll was doing before was it would just be sitting in the carrier bag that I had it in and randomly it would go off even though I hadn't wound it up. Um, so it was just the mechanism wasn't quite functioning right. And I gave her an initial wipe over with um, a baby wipe, an anti-back wipe, just to get the bulk of the dirt off. Sorry if you, there's some like little glitches and things. My camera was glitching out for some reason on this. I think it's like corrupted the recording. Um, so I gave her a clean up, just a very basic one, then took off this electrical tape and cleaned her properly. When she was all cleaned up, um, she was fine and I just glued her back together with some hot glue. And what I did was I trimmed off the broken edge of the base and the broken edge of the sort of cone shape and um, then glued her back together once I put the musical mechanism back in. To make the mask that I wanted to make for her face, what I did was I actually took some polymer clay and stuck that to her face and sculpted it into in position. So I knew how big I'd want to make it, what shape I wanted to make it. And it took me a little while because I wasn't 100% sure 
when I started sculpting what I wanted her final look to be. I just know I just knew I wanted her to look really, really creepy. Um, so first I was going to do no eyes um, and just have like a nose and maybe a very small mouth and a slight sort of scowl. But as you can see over time um, I changed that. So I started off with this like no eyed um, strange sort of grimacing look and then then I tried some very basic eye shapes I wanted it to make it look like she's kind of staring so I thought well I'll try adding some little um, eyeballs in there but leave the sockets quite big And I like how this looked at first, but then um, later on, I added a bit more detail. Like I added some cracks in the mask and added more details to the eyes. And there was just something about it I didn't like. Um, I was like, nah, it's not quite doing it for me. It's not quite how I want it to look. Um, so you'll see I go through and just complete this idea that I was thinking of. And obviously the advantage with um, the polymer clay is the fact that I can change my mind and redo it because um, it doesn't set until I've baked it in the oven. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how did you bake it in the oven when it's on a plastic doll? Well, what I did, um, you'll see later on, is I actually remove it from the doll um, very carefully and then um, shape it with some foil to keep the original shape and then bake it in the oven separate and then glue it on the doll after. So you can see at this point I've completely redone the eyes. Um, I've decided to make the eyes look very wrinkly, very strange indeed and added lots of wrinkles for the face. I wanted the skin to be very textured and wrinkly and strange looking. So she looks like a, I don't know, a monster or something. And then I added this screaming mouth as well. And what I like about this doll as well is part of the musical mechanism is the doll turns around on her own as the music box plays. Um, so what I want to do is have it so basically this doll's facing away from you and then as the music comes on it turns towards you. I think that will look quite spooky, especially as like a little Halloween decoration. Um, so yeah, that's the idea I went with. So I'm adding lots of wrinkles and lines and creases and just defining those shapes. And as you can see, I removed the sculpt from the doll and laid it on some foil to keep that rounded shape. I did check as well by putting foil over the face of the doll um, that it still fit before I baked it in the oven. And then I like this simple effect for painting this um, polymer clay. This is some um, Super Sculpey and it's like a sort of uh, beigey, skin tone-y colour. Obviously a white skin tone. And um, what I like to do is I like to completely cover it in black paint and then wipe the paint off. And it gives us this sort of greyy um gray brown sort of color to the um face but because the black's been applied that goes into all the nooks and crannies and makes all those creases and folds and wrinkles really stand out but i like the effect of this it kind of like i'm trying to think what material it looks like it's made out of like a not stone but like I don't know, like an old, some sort of old material that would be like a, I don't know, wrinkly monster doll material. All I had to do on the main part of the doll um, is paint around her face so it didn't show up underneath the mask. And the advantage of doing a mask is I can change her face later on if I want to. Because um, the um, hot glue is fairly easy to get off if you want to get it off, but at the same time it stays in place until you do remove it. Um, which is what I like about it. Obviously, the original paintwork by the doll of the doll will be damaged by gluing onto it, but 
like if I wanted to make more masks to fit this doll, I could do different ones at a later date. I did originally put holes in because I was going to tie this on so it looked like a, a kid with a mask on. Um, but then I decided to go full out and make it so it looked like the skin's really wrinkly and weird underneath. So this is what it looks like when you start her off. Unfortunately, I haven't got the music on because I don't know if it's copyrighted, so I can't put the music in the video. But if you go on my TikTok, um, you'll see the video on my TikTok um, with the tune on. And I think the, the music box tune adds to it. Um, so, yeah, so as this like music box tune is playing, um, this doll's turning on its own, which I quite I quite like. Like if you wanted to like scare someone with this, you just wind it up and leave it and not tell them you've wound it up. And then all of a sudden the doll would just start. And she does start and stop a little bit as well. Because um, obviously the mechanism's not perfect. So that's one thing I like as well. It's like you might be sitting there quietly and then all of a sudden it'll go like, ding, ding, and then start turning. Um, which just adds to the spookiness in my opinion. Um, so yeah, so she's going to be a... Nice spooky Halloween decoration for Halloween later this year. Um, but I like making stuff, spooky stuff year round. So, so yeah, she's currently sitting on my desk staring at me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.